Like your wife, if you, you know, if you go on, uh, if you stay away from your wife for two or three weeks at a time, go on big fishing trips and stuff, and I know people that do this. You know what? It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work because, you know what, it seems like you're interested in other things more than you're interested in your wife or your husband. It could be the other way, you see. And so you want to keep it, you want to keep your love life, amen, where it's supposed to be with God. Amen. If you see me, most of the time if you see me, you see my wife. See, we go to the store together. Uh, we, go, we work together. Sometimes you need a break. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not really. <laughs> I can't tell you. Oh, boy. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we don't want God to move, remove the candles, do we? Amen. He said, but this thou hast, thou hated the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hated. Now, uh, Nicholas was some kind of a false prophet. And these people, they didn't, they didn't put up with that. But that was something else that was good there. Jesus would say about it. And, you know, we're supposed to, things that are not right in the sight of God, amen, we're not supposed to put up with them, right? Amen, we're supposed to despise things, amen, that are against God, amen, because we want, you know, uh, how the Spirit of God comes is whenever God looks down and he recognizes these people really love me, and I'm going to bless them. Amen. It's not always, you know, an overwhelming blessing, but he blesses our coming together. Amen. And we see uh, the benefits of living for God, right? Amen. We recognize, amen, I'm on God's side and God's on my side. Amen. And God is helping me, amen, to be the best uh, that I can be. And so the Lord, he pointed out a serious problem in this church. Amen. And he said, listen, you've got to get these things, amen, fixed. Amen. And, uh, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to face up to our problems. And I don't know if anybody here has this problem. I hope you don't, but I'm sure uh, there's something to it. Amen. Because I think this is the second or third time that I've talked about this uh, to some degree this week. Uh, but I think... Really what it is, I think it's a move, amen, that's crossing the country. Amen, I think that there's, uh, the devil is working as hard as he can, amen, across our nation tonight, amen, and uh, he wants to destroy the work of God, and he wants to destroy our relationship with God, and so we've got to recognize that we are in a battle, amen, and we need to fight a good fight, right? Amen. Somebody said, if you fight a good fight, you'll win every time. Did you know that? It doesn't matter how many licks or kicks the devil uh, uh, get, uh, is over to get, able to get over on you. Amen. If you'll fight right, you'll win every time. Right? Amen. And so, you know, a lot of people, they just quit fighting. Well, I'm going to tell you, uh, you're going to lose. Amen. You've got to make up your mind. I'm a winner. Amen. I'm, I'm not a loser. I'm going to fight. Amen. Amen. Like God wants me to fight. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to be a loser. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, keep myself in the love of God. Amen. I'm not going to be a loser. Amen. 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 See, a lot of people, they just, they don't take much for them to just lay their arm on them. Amen. Well, you, have you read your Bible lately? Are you praying? 
Amen. What's going on in your life? Amen. Do you have to get uh, uh, re-saved every Sunday? You know, people can't keep a relationship with God simply because, uh, you know, they just have to keep going back and doing their first works all over again. Amen. But God's not pleased with us when we do that. God wants us to keep ourselves uh, in a condition to where uh, we're truly a soldier for Him. Amen. I remember whenever I was in the Marine Corps, just back in the 70s, uh, I was down in Paris Island, 1975. And uh, back then, you know, they sent you home. <coughs> It was a shame, you know. And just a little while before uh, I went to Paris Island, what they would do is, if they sent you home, they sent you home in baby blues, and they call them baby blue marines. I don't know if you've ever heard of that or not, but if you know, if you wasn't up to the task, Amen. It didn't look very good on you, Amen. And you know, as a soldier for Jesus, amen, we got to keep our armor on, amen. And the one place that the devil is going to try to work on you, amen, he's going to try to work on your love life, amen. And so you have to remember, this is the most important thing, amen, that's happening in my life, is my love life, amen. I've got to keep it where it ought to be. Uh, this is a message to me too. Right? Amen. I'm not whenever I preach to you, uh, there's about uh, ten fingers pointing back at me. Amen. And it goes for everybody. Amen. I've known preachers before the backslid on God. We we had a, we had a preacher, two preachers in our in our county. Uh, they was outside the, I guess it was the Piggly Wiggly, or the IGA one of them, and got in a fight in the parking lot. Uh, now that's been a while back, but I'm telling you, you know, uh, preachers, you know, you've got to keep yourself right with God. Yeah. Right? It'd be bad seeing a preacher to get yourself in such a condition that you get out here and fight with somebody, a fist fight. Well, everybody in the county, of course, found out about it, you know, and destroyed a couple of churches. Amen. So, you know, we got to, you know, hey, I, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let uh, any bad spirit get out of me. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to be a spiritual Christian. That's what we talked about with Brother Clark this morning. I'm going to be spiritual. Amen. I'm not going to allow uh, some old bad spirit to get on me. To where if somebody says something that I don't like, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump and try to get them. Or they probably get me before I never do. I, mean, I, I can move fast enough now. Uh, hopefully I can out mine. But it, you know, it's just like uh, we had these barrels in our front yard one day, and uh, I thought, well, if one got after me, I, I'd run free. But I'm telling you what, they can run free faster than you. I mean, they can be up the top of a tree just in a couple seconds. So, so you know what? <clears throat> you know, you, you have got to make up your mind. I'm going to keep myself. Amen. I'm going to keep uh, every area of my life. Amen. Where it needs to be with God. I'm going to keep myself humble in the sight of God. See, the Bible says if we'll keep ourselves humble, God will lift us up. Right? Amen. He'll lift us up. And that's what we want him to do. We want him, you know, uh, you know, I don't, God don't uh, owe me nothing, but I owe God everything. Amen. I owe him my life. I owe him my heart. Amen. I owe him whatever he wants out of me. And I can tell you the main thing he wants is obedience. Amen. And, and he wants us to love him and love one another. Amen. Y'all probably you probably won't hear a message like this for a while because I've been already preaching it out, I believe. <laughs> Amen. See, whenever we don't love God, 
our devotional life suffers. They no longer have priority. The saints do not love one another like they used to. Amen. You know why? They don't love God like they used to. Amen. And so this is something, amen, that's very serious with the child of God. Amen. And like I say, many people have said it doesn't matter. Yes, it matters. Amen. There's so many scriptures in the Word of God. Read 1 Corinthians 13. Amen. Over and over again. Amen. He talks about our love toward God and our love toward one another. And so it's so important uh, today. Uh, you know, people love God, but they love pleasure more. Yeah, you've seen that. Well, we can't come to church, Brother George, because we got us a big fancy boat. And we're going to go out to the lake and spend a few days. And one week turns into another week. And it's not long until it's every other week. And they don't have no time for God anymore. Amen. Why? Because their pleasure is more important to them than their relationship with God. And you can name many things, amen, that people have allowed to, uh, to come into their life. And they put that before God. Amen. And so you can understand how uh, why the Bible says God is a jealous God. Amen. And God is a jealous God. Well, how, how would that be? Well, there was a time whenever you were uh, you were spending time in prayer. You loved God. You you relate to God. You let Him know, Amen, what was in your heart. And then suddenly, Amen, you're not talking to God anymore. Amen. And God, as I said, He's a jealous God. <laughs> Amen. And you know what's going to happen? God's going to send some things your way, amen, to try to steer you back, amen, into a relationship with him. Amen. And you may not like what he sends. Amen. And so uh, certainly we want to keep our love where it needs to be with God. And I'm not, I'm not trying to reach you over the head. I'm just telling you. And like I said last night, uh, when the mailman sends you a letter, you don't, uh, a bill in the mail, you don't throw rocks at him, do you? Amen. When you hear the word of God and it crosses you, amen, the person that sends, the, uh, that gives you the message, you don't get mad at that person, right? Amen. But really what we ought to do is say, you know what, I'm thankful that somebody told me the truth. Amen. I'm thankful that I need to get all this bitterness and stuff out of my life and really be what God wants me to be. And and you know what? Uh, you know, the Bible talks about our joy being full. Don't, you want your joy to be full, don't you? Amen. Somebody said, I, I just don't have any joy anymore. Well, I can tell you why. Amen. You don't love like you used to. Amen. Amen. Your joy, amen, is a very important, amen, part of your Christian walk. Amen. And you want your joy to be full. Amen. You want to trust God. Believe God. Amen. Our Father, we just want to thank you tonight for your word. And your Lord, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And help us, dear Lord, to hide it in our hearts that we might not sin against you. And we pray, dear Lord, that you bless all these dear people in the precious name of Jesus.